Hi friends, today I want to read you a new Froggy story called Froggy's Sleepover. And the two main characters in this story are Froggy and his best friend Max. And his best friend Max is a beaver and they're having their very first sleepover. So this story is written by Jonathan London and illustrated by Frank Remquix. Froggy's first sleepover. So here's the title page. And here's Froggy's house. You remember he lives in this hillside next to this little stream of water. And they're going across this like meadow area to this home right over here. And if you can see, it's built out of sticks right here along this waterway. And it's a beaver dam. And we're gonna be talking about beaver dams and how they make them and about how they change the environment this week. So I think this is the perfect story for this week to go with our science. It was Friday and school was out. Froggy flopped home from the school bus. Flop, 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 singing hooray, hooray. It's Friday, Friday. I am going to Max's for a sleepover. So here he is getting off the bus, coming home from school. That's great, said Froggy's mother, and she gave him a plate of chocolate fly cookies. This is your first sleepover. Are you nervous? Do you think Froggy feels nervous to sleep over for the first time? It is kind of weird not to sleep in your own bed. It kind of feels different. Who, me? Of course not, said Froggy, and he hopped up and flopped to his room. Flop, flop, flop. So here he is going to get ready for his very first sleepover at Max's house. He pulled a big sack from his closet. Slam, he stuffed in his sleeping bag. Sloof. So here goes the sleeping bag. Squeezed in his pillow. Poof. Slapped in his pajamas. Puff. And shoved in a pair of underwear. Plum. There, so he said, and he flopped outside, dragging his sack behind him. Shloop, froggy, called his mother. What? Did you forget your huggy? Do you guys know what his huggy is? Do you guys have a huggy? My boys had huggies when they were little. Oops, cried froggy. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. I found it, he yelled. It was in the cookie jar. Hmm, what is a, what is a huggy that would be in the cookie jar? There it is. Is the cookie jar a good place to keep your your favorite stuffed animal friend that you like to sleep with? Hmm, I don't know. Then out the door he went, dragging his sack behind him. Shoop. So here he is on his second trip back over to Max's house. Froggy called his mother. What? Did you forget your toothbrush? Oops, said Froggy, and he flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. I found it, yelled Froggy. It was in my toy chest. Silly frog, he never puts things where they go. Bang. Don't forget to brush, said his mother. I know, said Froggy. And then off he went to Max's, dragging his sack behind him. Shloop. So here he is leaving his mom's house again, across the meadow and over here to Max's beaver dam. Home. At Max's, he dumped everything out on the floor. Shloop rolled out his sleeping bag, sloof, and fluffed out his pillow, ploof. Okay, said Froggy, I'm ready for bed. So he's got everything laid out the way he wants it. But Froggy said, Max, check out the clock. It's only four o'clock. Do you go to bed at four o'clock? Oh my goodness. He's just so excited. He can't, he just can't wait to go to bed in his sleeping bag. So they waited until after dinner. Then they crawled into their sleeping bags. Wait, said Froggy, jumping up. I forgot to brush my teeth. Uh-oh. Here's where Max says something that I don't know if this is being a kind and caring friend. Uh, if he was in room 32, I think I'd probably have to put him on yellow for this because this is not very nice. Are you ready? What do you think he's going to say to Froggy about that toothbrush? Let's see. He says... Don't be a baby, said Max. Oof, those are not nice words to say to a friend. That's kind of name calling. I don't, I don't like that. He says, this is a sleepover. You don't have to brush your teeth on a sleepover. I, I think that, you, that he should be listening to his mom and doing what is the right thing for him, not listening maybe to his friend who's who's giving him some bad advice, maybe he's saying things that are not very nice. I don't know, what would you guys do? 
think about it. I don't know. Froggy crawled back into his bag. Wait, he said. He jumped back up. I need my Huggy to go to sleep. Sleep, said Max. Who's going to sleep? We can tell scary stories and have pillow fights all night long. Ooh, ooh, is that a good decision? Hmm. I've told you guys over and over, over again. I don't like scary stories. I don't like scary movies. I don't even like to talk about them. But Max is going to scare Froggy with his scary stories. Can you see this? So these scary story creatures that are in this picture, they're not real. This is just what Froggy is thinking in his brain as Max is telling these stories to him. Froggy slipped back into his bag and Max told him a story that made Froggy's skin crawl. That means he may felt so scared. Now it's your turn, said Max, but there were weird screeching sounds and scary shapes that hung like shadows, like ghosts. So they're not real, it's just Froggy's imagination because he's scared from the stories. So Froggy says, I have a better idea, said Froggy. What, said Max, let's go to my house for the sleepover. So here they go across the meadow. They are leaving um, Max's house. Here's Max's mom here. She was the, remember she was the baseball coach um, and then the soccer coach too. And when they got back to Froggy's house, they tiptoe inside in the dark. Quiet, quiet. So they left Max's, went back across the meadow, and now they're going back here into Froggy's house. Crash! Froggy bumped into a lamp and knocked it over, and it hit the goldfish bowl. Splash! And look where the goldfish bowl landed. Can you see that? Right on top of Froggy's head. Froggy yelled his mother, what is all the ruckus? You guys know what ruckus means? Ruckus is one of those words for like loud noises. She flipped on the light. Oops, cried Froggy, looking a little more red in the face than green. We decided to sleep here instead. Oh, Froggy said his mother, I thought you wanted to sleep at Max's. I did, cried Froggy, but um, I was hungry. And you make the best popcorn. So do you think Froggy was really hungry or do you think he was just a little bit scared at Max's house and wanted to come back home again? I think he was kind of nervous to be at Max's house with all the sounds and the scary stories. So they went back to Froggy's house. Can you make us some popcorn, please? Okay, you little munchkin, said his mom. Pop, pop, pop. She made them some buttery popcorn and then went back to bed. Lucky, lucky friends. Plump, plump, plump. Froggy and Max were having a wild pillow fight, laughing and making all kinds of ruckus. How do you think that's going to make the mom and dad frog feel? Uh-oh. Yikes. Good night, pudding heads, cried Froggy's mom. I hope they go to bed soon, groaned Froggy's dad. Me too, groaned Froggy's mom. They're trying to go to bed, but the friends are being too loud. Froggy's parents were snoring like horses when Froggy's mom heard a sound. Her eyes popped open and she flicked on the light. Max was standing by the bed and he said, I have a tummy ache. He said, I want to go home. Uh-oh. Guess what? So they went back to Max's, dragging their sacks behind them. Shoop. So here they are now leaving Froggy's house. Here's Froggy's mom, so tired. Here's Froggy and Max. She's shining the flashlight for them and they're going back here to Max's house. All the lights are off. Uh-oh. But there were still weird sounds and scary shadows there. So they went back to Froggy's house. But Max wanted his own pillow, so they went back to Max's house. But Froggy wanted pink lemonade, so back and forth they went. Shloop, shloop, shloop. Oh my goodness. Back and forth, back and forth all night long. Oh. At last. They fell asleep at Max's house at 9 o'clock in the morning. They were up all night long. Zzz. Here they are sleeping away in the daytime. Have you guys ever stayed awake all night long and felt like you had to sleep in the daytime? Yeah, it's hard to stay awake all night long. So here they are catching up on their sleep. 
And that is the story of Froggy's first sleepover. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to read you another one tomorrow.